hello and welcome back to a new tutorial from unreal engine for you so this tutorial will be about how to create a tutorial in editor sometimes you have added some new features or add some new things and from the fact that you have a huge team using or sharing the same project with you sometimes you have to share stuff with them sometimes communication is hard between people so sometimes you have to leave notes for people within the project and adding tutorials in editor actually it's an amazing way to deliver a a message or to tell something about the project or the set of the project so basically if uh, if you have this third person blueprint project here we can add a blueprint like here in miscellaneous it's called tutorial blueprint and let's give it a name I, I would call it explain tutorial or something and you can see this play button when I hit play nothing happens because basically there is nothing in this tutorial so when I open it and let's save it first so i open it and let's i prefer to have the window here so yeah let's give this tutorial a title or something so yeah let's name it tutorial blueprint and let's give it a description or a content but anyways this content for some reason is kind of useless and will not appear anywhere but yeah my first so that if i add a content here and i save without having stages this will work so if I run here but yeah nothing happens so this takes me to the second second section here it's called stages so stages is the screens of st or steps of the tutorial and each stage would be like a panel or screen will pop up so let's call this one uh, phase one or stage one and let's give it a content here so for example here are some text popping up as an intro for the tutorial and yeah that's enough so yeah without adding any more things let's just save and compile and let's try to hit play with the tutorial so yeah kaboom we have a window and there's a home button here and this home button will be always at your last screen or at your last stage so let's add one more stage and this time let's add something different or to use something new let's call it phase two and let's say it's not only what you can do but also you can add links or images yeah you can add links or images to the text so let's link if we want to link something we use this link let's get the link for let's say Google no no let's say unreal engine blog realengine.com and yeah let's take the blog link and let's just link it to this piece for blog for example so let's link this phrase so choose hyperlink and paste your link here URL and that's it yeah URL it should be blue I don't know and we can add images as well so we can choose any image let's choose this random screenshot from chat or whatever and yeah this is an image and let's save and compile and let's run the tutorial again so now there is next there is no home because there is other screen and here is why is this the URL is not working but here is the image so let's close this and go back oh okay it's it's still not blue okay let's select this uh, word block for example and let's paste the URL again and yeah insert hyperlink yeah now it will work actually so let's play the tutorial again and yeah it works so yeah I think this that's all what you can do but there is only one more interesting thing you can add to tutorials actually which will drive people's eye so let's add a third phase or stage it's called uh, phase three and this is actually will be uh, let's call it uh, highlight with the most uh, let's here let's here add a widget and within this widget we can add even more details so let's say draw highlight should be marked and let's hit this button and start selecting what we want to highlight so let's
select this ink drop and come here select this actor and you can see it's the actual name tutorial explain it's game okay, selected here and now if I hit play this one when the panel or phase 3 comes it will be highlighted so basically creating tutorials is very interesting and you can you can it can save lots of time of communication you can just if someone new or someone want to see something new been added to the project recently it might be fairly easy if you are using tutorials and yeah that's it see you